Uh, what about Rutgers? Didn't win a conference game in year one under Chris Ash. He brought in a lot of transfers who were eligible immediately. One of them won the starting quarterback job in Kyle Bolin. Yeah. What did we think when we saw the Scarlet Knights? To me, I, I think they're better. Physically, they look better this year. So the offseason workout program, to me, has worked for them. But do they have enough to make enough plays to really affect change on both sides of the football? I don't think that I don't think they're there yet. But I think the way the game will be called by Jerry Kill to really keep things close to the vest, not take too many chances in the passing game, gives them an opportunity. Right, and I, and I think a way to see if that is happening, what you just said, how it is check out their games against the matchup opponents: Eastern Michigan, Morgan State, Illinois, and Purdue. You know, just let's get a gauge and see what they look like with some other programs that maybe they match up with. Jerry Kill, how much of an impact does he have on the program? Ex-head coach, which Chris Ash may lean on for some, some different things. But, but you know, what are they going to look like offensively? The worst thing that can happen to a defensive coach turned head coach, meaning Chris Ash, the defensive side of the ball, growing up, and now he's a head coach, is to lose his offensive coordinator after the first year of his program. And that's what happens. So this is the second offense in the second year. That's not always a good thing. So they've got to get through that. And I think Jerry Kill will be a big help doing that. You need to figure out a way to score some points. No doubt about it. Outscored by 274 points in their nine. Janarian Grant games. will help them. He'll help quite a bit. And yeah. You know, losing him was huge. I know he does everything for him. You can't right. rely upon him to do that. But he was a big play waiting to happen in all phases of the game. Getting him back healthy this year would be big. Well, he's tied for the all-time FBS lead in combined punt and kick return touchdowns. He tied for the team lead in touchdowns last year. He played four games. <laughs> so that gives you a sense of, of how explosive he's Not that good from a team standpoint. No, but from his but standpoint. Him right, the fact that he's back, that's a good thing, thing no doubt.